it's the roll up, it's the vibes. Another beautiful day in the Sunshine State. And I'm kicking it with my guys, Larry Young and CJ. You're joined by some uh, distinguished gentlemen. Some yeah, neighborhood some legends. Man. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. going and, on, man? In the city, man. We, we right around the corner. Um, <laughs> our four boys. Yeah, uh, for those who may be unfamiliar, we got my man Ray Ray Armstrong, uh, yes, Andre Bose, and Dyron Die, man. Sanford Three. This is uh, this is legendary, man. Anybody that follows Florida recruiting, Florida high school football, it's up to Florida college football, man. This is a legendary moment. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if this has been done before. Uh, it's not mm-hmm. probably. Hey, none of this no, has been sir. done before. No, no yeah. sir. Look at the mural. All of this, man. Yeah, none of this has been done before. That's pretty dope. I, what y'all yeah. think about the welcome to the welcome to the cut shots, man. What y'all think about the place? Good man, it's pretty vibe. dope, man. Yeah, we vibing. It's a nice vibe. Good vibe. Appreciate good vibe. it. Very different. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Man, got a Florida ambiance. Good hospitality. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, man. We're gonna start it from the beginning. You know, um, Pop Warner football. You know, it's Florida, bro. You know the vibes. Oh man. Football, everything. It started from Pop Warner, elementary. How y'all got started? You, you know, how you guys met? You guys met in the Pop Warner ranks? One hundred percent. We met when we shit. I started at five. <clears throat> man, we, we all met around playing Pop Warner time, around yeah. them times right there. I mean, man, we all grew mama, up around each other. Yeah, anyway. our mama don't know each other, so we we pretty much been around each other all our lives. And mm. you know, Pop Warner was, you know, I guess the beginning of everything. You know what I mean? It was, uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, nah, that was started ass that already, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That kid's beating his ass yeah. already. Yeah. That's what the seed was planted, though. I get that. Um, so, was that uh, camaraderie built at that point, or you know, because that's very young at that point? Well, so. we were all different sizes. I was a normal size child at that age. These two guys was <laughs> like three or four, eight, like three or four sizes uh, above everybody. So, like. He played on the top, like, you know, it's, it's midgets and junior peewee, you know what I mean? Like, so he played on the top for his, you know, whole career. We didn't really play together though, yeah, until we, we got to high school. Yeah, we didn't play, we didn't no, play each other on part one, because we were two different sizes, you know what I mean? Like we knew each other because we grew up around each other, but <laughs> yeah. part one of the time, that was, you know, we were kids, man, like, so. Growing up, I always thought it was so dope yeah. that he was younger than me, and he was, uh, that he played in the, like a, a level, like four or five levels ahead of me. Yeah, it was cheating to get Ray Ray up, man. No, but Ray Ray had issues like mom. like weight, like making weight. I think yeah. Yeah. Both of us, though. Both of us, I'm like right here. No? We both played up early. I mean, I was borderline all the time. Boy, yeah. I was damn sure. I ain't gonna lie, I did though. I had to like, I couldn't eat the though? night before. You go about weight. Weight, yeah, weight. Yeah, I couldn't weight eat the same. night before. I had to eat after we weighed in. So <laughs> I played up for like three years. Yeah, I'm definitely see y'all. Uh, remember yeah. y'all boys running around, running around the uh, the field with the bags on. <laughs> <laughs> I try to draw weight. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. How old were we then? Like, what were we talking so like about? 11, 10, 11. Yeah. Yeah. Dropping like weight at 11. Yeah, that was yeah, serious. Yeah. That's to get crazy. On that so what y'all would have had to do? Just sit out. Yeah, if you can't make weight, you can't play. His uh, uh, he he, he had to stop he, playing. He, he I, yeah, play. my last I stopped playing sixth grade. I ain't played for two years before high school. Yeah, yeah cause I was too big. I was, my mom was like, "Fuck that." Man, middle school ball. Yeah, yeah I ain't nah, I want no middle school ball. So yeah. it was just like That's it is what it is. Yeah, I was too big. Mm-hmm. I was bigger than everybody. It was over with. So I just waited. That's what's up. Play basketball. That was it. Until so when you guys enter high school, like freshman year, you guys all link up. There's no more uh, divisions amongst Pop Warner. Um, what's it like when you link up in high school? You guys like who who was alpha? Who was standing out in practice? Well, who playing JV? Who playing varsity? What's what? <laughs> it was off the real. Everybody already know. It, it wasn't even that though, because where we come from, so it's, 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 it's competition. Yeah, it's competition where we come from, though. Everybody, there's a lot of people that's talented, man. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. you well, feel me? So, our freshman year, I played freshman it's ball. It's just all about what position you're going for, for real. Y'all played varsity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I played freshman, and then they played varsity. Well, you played. I went in JV, because I ain't played for two years, so I played. They wanted me at varsity. Yeah. But my people don't like, no, I went JV freshman year. He played varsity. And I feel like coming into high school, Until we had the end a, of the year. I played yeah, boss. Yeah, high school, we had a lot of momentum coming in from Pop Warner. Like mm-hmm. people knew of us. You know what I mean? Like I remember being recruited. You know what I'm saying? Like we had a big, big thing about uh, even going to Seminole. Right. Like what was the schools then? We had, I man. We had a, in Seminole County. It's a, it's a couple. You know, schools: Lake Mary, Winter Springs, Lyman. Uh, 
Oviedo. Oviedo. And yeah. it was a, yeah. I always thought it was cool to go to like the opposite school, you know what I mean? And come back to the city and, and basically beat the, the home the home team. <laughs> so like, you know, I remember just being recruited out of Pot Warner and then mm -hmm. <clears throat> Coach Wiggins, he uh he basically uh got all our parents together. I don't know, you know what he did. You know what I mean? He 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 was just hounding. <laughs> he was hounding our parents just to basically just Learn you know to bring us together. Like that's our like not in a bad way. Not not in a bad way. We just was all kind of going our own different directions coming out of Pot Warner, and I remember just uh, Coach Wiggins did a so big part of us bringing us the, the Seminole, like even us to bringing us there. So right. You know what I'm saying? At what point in uh, you guys' enrollment and start you started to get uh, in, in that program, uh, did you guys say, hey, our goal is to win a state championship and you start trying to achieve that goal? Well, our first goal was just winning. Right. Man, like, <clears throat> you know what I mean? We we come from, I mean, we, we, we used to get drugged. I mean, I- You know Seminole with that for a while, yeah, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah, we, 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 we was- we, we, They we, weren't winning nothing. That's, that's shit, I, I first came in, my first two years, I played, I played varsity. You feel me? So, in my first two years, we was one and nine. You feel one me? First two years out the gate. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. we, but we wasn't, we weren't even on the team together though. Right. I was yeah, the only was one on there. You feel me? Right. So we ain't all link up, and with all them boys out there, we ain't link up until like, ah, uh, really so, like my junior senior year. Right. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Our junior right. year, then we got a new coach. Um, and we got a new coach. They switched everything uh, up. We switched the yeah, whole we, offense. So we so switched so everything. Yeah, right? It was all softball. But I'm yeah. saying we ain't really come together though right. until yeah, 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 after right. them two, three years. You feel me? Right, yeah. I'm already a junior at the time. That's when we started coming together. So what that new coach? That's what did he bring? What did he bring different? Man, he switched the whole thing up. Yeah. We switched the whole. Yeah. He had a whole offense plan. and all. Oh, you feel man, me? It was yeah. different. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. brought a he brought a whole kind of like yeah. a, a program. And it's like in a sense, like we we never experienced like a real deal program. Like he even had like a camp, a camp before the <laughs> yeah. season, and that was something that that was very different from you know what we had seen before our time. And he, he kind of brought brought kind of structure. Man, they brought in some sense. structure, bro. Yeah. We was yeah. just out there. Seminole was just out there winging everything. Yeah, we so just had we always had talent athlete. coming out of Sanford, but always yeah. meant athletes coming out of Sanford. But we we that was the first time they actually put that thing together. You feel me? Right. Got everybody on the right page, even yeah. working outside of the season and stuff like that, bro. Cause we wasn't we wasn't doing none of that, bro. Mm -mm. You right. know what I'm saying? We, like, we weren't even for real. We weren't even lifting weights. Like, like all that extra. Like, like, stuff we weren't doing that. Yeah, yeah, just out there for real, for real. I see what like, Until I, I'm season, trying to tell you, we were just out there on just raw talent until they season. came and put Are all that shit together. A different well, sport. But Dre, you had uh, you had like track off season. You, yeah, you was involved in like track and field. How how important was that in your development in football? Well, I think man, track played a big part in my life, man. Like. You know, obviously, just practicing running. You know what I mean. You you get really really good at it, and then when you uh, you go into the field, it just translates so well. You know what I mean. Man, he's naturally gifted, man. You're fast. <laughs> I mean, fast. you, you was know, fast he, from birth. That boy been fast. I don't know. It's in his blood. Yeah, but do you feel like running track? Some uh, you know, some of these coaches at that at that time helped tuned up. You know. Oh yeah, Fine Coach skills, Coach Brumman, Brumman, yeah, uh, Coach yeah. Brumman, man, Coach Brumman showed me. Best. You know, I used to uh, go out and, um, you know, to a lot of, you know, just competing, and you know, naturally you 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 compete, you get faster, and translate to the field. You know I tell mean? people all the time, man. Um, when it comes to track, I feel like all skilled position players it should be mandatory. In high mandatory, though, yeah. Shit, I was on that track though. Nah, he'll, he'll, he'll be, he'll be, he'll be, yeah. too serious. Uh, yeah, he was. He was the four by one. I was the four by one. Nah, yeah. boy, I was the biggest nigga out there, boy, running through everything. Yeah. Was, <laughs> leg man. Who? What, I was third? That's, I was yeah. third. Third, third, third no, leg? Because you come a second. Dre was coming. Yeah. Man, he coming around the corner <laughs> so fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm talking about one time. Past, you, right? It took yeah. us like 20 times just to get the mark because he was moving so too fast. fast. Oh, I yeah. couldn't, like, you can't see it because he, bro. I'm talking about we repeated it. So, man, I almost quit that day. I was like, but in hell with this. I'm too big yeah, for this. I was 232 for it. I Tyrone got some stories for you, man. But I died on that track. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you cried last night. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real, man. Yeah, third leg, that's what's up, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah what, was your fastest, what was your fastest time in the hunt? Uh, 10 4 6. Shit. I remember yeah, when I ran it, it was, uh, it, it was, it was, it was crazy, man. Like, I, I, I feel like, you know, I, we had a uh, asphalt 
uh, track at Seminole. So I, I really wasn't, I didn't get a chance to really practice at practice. You yeah. feel me? So when I went to a track meet, it was like, oh, I can really run. I can really run. So like, I ran, I remember I ran a 10 4 6, and that's when like uh, all the, the, the colleges and, and everything just started going crazy. Like, off that time, like I didn't even have any, I, I feel like my film wasn't, you know, crazy. But when I ran that time, that's when that's when they got crazy. What was that feeling like? The feeling of like, just the recruiting and everything. Yeah, all that that you know, you ran Man, that time was, and that it was that, it was kind of overwhelming yeah, at like first. Overnight. It was it, yeah, it was definitely overnight. It it was overwhelming because you know that was before like the the reg the rules and regulations. Like these dudes was like blowing your phone up. Mm-hmm. You remember yeah. you remember that? Like you yeah, you yeah. couldn't you have like uh, 10, 15, 20, you know people trying to uh, do an interview with you, dog, you know. Dog out there back here, yeah, right? and, and, and it's Ooh. cool at first, and then and then over time, you know, it's just like, sheesh, you know what I mean? Yeah, right, exactly. chill. Yeah. So, so you guys go from one to nine and losing, coaches come, new structure, you guys start winning, right? How was that transition within the city, with the, within the fans? You know, Sanford is, <laughs> is it's a small town. You guys are tight knit. How did the um, fan support come with you guys? Started going from losers to winners. I know you guys were in the city around then. Oh man, man every game, boy, every game, everything that thing stopped. Yeah. I seen you was crazy, bro. I'm trying yeah, to tell was, you. I seen you. Was, you had to bring in extra bleach. Man, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. None of that. Y'all remember that like was, hearing the birth uh, of the the nickname, the Sanford Three? Like, were y'all aware of that at the time? Because I'll be honest with you. That was the first recruitment I ever followed. Like, I'm a Hurricanes fan. And previous to that, I really just didn't follow recruiting. I'm like, yeah, it don't really matter till they pull up. <clears throat> but uh, I remember hearing the buzz. It was Sam for three, Sam for three. And I was like, all right, who mm-hmm. you got? So I look you up. This is the thing. Do y'all remember feeling that, hearing that? Well, I remember it was, <clears throat> it was called the Flo- Florida's Finest Trio. I remember it was called that. Yeah, I see. That. And, I've seen that headline before yeah, too. And, yeah, and and that's and and that's what uh, it came out and you know it it was it was pretty dope. I mean, you know, getting all the attention and having three three All Americans on one team and no, nah, that was, shit was crazy, bro. Like it was it, crazy it was, at the time. Was, I mean, cause you know you got to understand, <laughs> man. Like I'm trying to tell, like I said before, we had so many people like really like some real good athletes, bro. Way be- like before us, right. them boys was nice, but they just didn't get that opportunity, you feel me? Yeah. For whatever reason. But when, I mean, when that when that, when that happened around that time, when it happened, bro, it was crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's something that you always was looking at, you know what I'm saying, growing up, that's something you always wanted to do. Yeah. And then once, like, once you really started getting that attention from, I mean, that it was life changing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it was life changing. Was it ain't pressure no, or? Ain't, no, I nah, want no nah, pressure. Nah, we was all, that was all, it was it just was new. all fun. It, just ain't nothing, it ain't yeah. nothing that you can prepare for though, you feel me? It was right. just, it's just something that you have to learn through the way. And ain't nobody that was before us can show us. So all that shit was new for us. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. You so, guys start y'all handling that situation. Like you said, you didn't really. Oh, yeah. But man. prior to, you know, you guys ain't had no, man, we no team. Thinking like about that. that. We were vibing. Man. I ain't going to lie. We never thought knew, about it. I know that we wasn't going to let the city down. Like, yeah. I feel like once we got that All-American tag on us, we was like, we're going to prove who we are. You know what I mean? And, and I feel like we, we wasn't going to let. But we weren't moving no different though. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, now we we no different. We weren't, we weren't even looking at it like that. Like yeah. we were trying to win. So we, what we was doing wasn't like one nobody. Ain't nobody ever did it before us. So we ain't ever had no press. No, wasn't no pressure on us. Yeah. We were just out there yeah. going in every game, right playing. Yeah. yeah, we was playing free, bro. Yeah. It was man. We, we knew how big for real. It was. You know we how had, big we was it was. Yeah, walk in the room. In, a lot of y'all, even if y'all playoff run, it reflected that you guys was down a lot, and you guys had comeback wins. Yeah. Um. In that in that type of fashion. Uh, lead, leading up to that senior year, I mean, give us the rundown of that senior year. What was the vibes like then? You guys are pretty much looked at three All Americans. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. People, but it was people, it was more than us though. That's when we all clicked yeah. though. You right, feel right, me? Right, like, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. was low. Yeah. I seen. Yeah, that's when everybody, the whole team. That's when everybody came together. That's when we had like we were literally lo- loaded in every position, bro. Right. Like every position, but it was just us that we just already had that name. You feel right. me? So. That's what on that was what all people were talking about, for but sure. bro, we was stacked, bro. Yeah. Like for real, like, like, that that's like what get, we, man, we names, was already man. going into that year, letting like we outside already you guys, felt we were gonna win that. Bitch. Outside of you three, who else on that team were uh, big contributors, man? Just Come on, man, we like, every position, bro. Kadeem Everett, Darius Bryant. 
Uh, okay. Tyrone Bowie. Yeah. Every position. Uh, I'm telling you, we yeah, were every position. We had I'm two. We, we had two twins. Our two tackles. Uh, Eric Windsor. Kyle Windsor. Kyle Windsor. Yeah. Um, who else we had? I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. We was loaded, man. Everybody who who was out there played a big part because you know what I'm saying. They was out there all day. Whatever they doing, they know. <laughs> Everybody, everybody was dedicated. With, everybody who we that. won with, we we was losing with, yeah, basically. For real, like, for real. Right. Everybody, everybody been there since, all since the start on both of, sides. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. It ain't like no new people. Yeah. You might have one or two new people. Y'all was ready to turn the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was done a couple of years of losing. Now, I, I think what what, what what really made what really made us click in jail though when we went uh seen, our going our senior year we went to Camp Cully. <laughs> and uh, man, we was in the, the dunk. I'm talking about we ended up playing pillow fight, man. We was in dorm rooms. We breaking the people's shit. Oh, <laughs> we ended up playing cleats in the pillowcases, hitting people in the face with them. Like, yeah. Our coach had don't quit on us. G shit. He yeah, we our, our coach quit. We got that bitch All like, but we wilding, quit. man. I'm talking about. <laughs> Bro, he was punishing us. It wasn't nothing working. So he had them quit that last day when he, we breaking the doors, hitting each other with cleats and yeah, just we were... destroying these people. Doors. This, was, like, man, this, this was going this into shit, man. I'm gone, man. This just was left going into our senior year. So we... Whole team there, bro. We there just no coach. Yeah. We That's just there, bro. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, what's going on, bro? And after that, we were just still dedicated to like, man, we finna do the same thing we doing. Hey, we finna whatever. go work out. We finna go blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just right. kept doing it. We stayed doing that shit without the coaches. You know what I'm saying? When we started doing that without the coaches and we checking each other, that shit was different. We really got closer after that. Yeah, yeah it was just different. They ain't, we ain't need the coaches no more after that. You feel me? It was just all that, like, like they it all was, championship the teams are built that way. Yeah, like yeah, it was yeah. times during the season. Like I can tell you, like uh, during drives, you know, the men who played both quarterbacks, we would literally tell the coach, no, he will call a play in. It would be like, nah. I was you know I mean? was like, legendary for that, but I don't call yeah, like, defense. Like, like, we used to real like, deal. We ran. We bro, ran. Bro, I play so fast. But he could never get mad. He could never yeah. get mad because every time we used to do it, it yeah. used to work. It worked. You feel me? Yeah. So, yeah. so it's he like, yeah, what they gonna do? Man, I, yeah. I, 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 I tell you, look, I played quarterback, bro. So I mm -hmm. can tell you, like, literally, bro, I done, it done been times when I probably done told everybody a play, right? We going to the line. I done told everybody a whole nother play. They don't know what's finna happen, though. <laughs> I say hike, bro. I just, if I just see some shit in front of me, bro, I just say hike and the quarterback play. sneak that yeah. bitch right. Right up the hole. And they mm -hmm. ain't, ain't nobody knew I was finna do this. Yeah. There's a time I done scored touchdowns off that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Imagine like, exactly. like, him being a punter, though. They can't, they can't though. say nothing to Bro, you. what you gonna I say? Imagine him being a punter. And I say, hey, Dre, <laughs> man, run that shit, man. It's like, yeah, yeah, right. it's yeah. like fourth and fourth and six, yeah, huh? Yeah. And we got to turn no, up. We lose that, man. Dre, put that, keep that shit. Yeah, I'm running like, bro, with you, bro. See it, bro. Me and him, only me and him know. He be like, bro, if you see it, run it. What it was about 80 yards? Yeah. After that, man, wasn't it? Every time they looking, he's sneaking it. Every like, time like, ain't no punt. We been offense every day. Right? Yeah, yeah. We was just at the coach. Yeah, yeah. It's been that. He be boy at the corner. We ain't going that. We ain't slowing down for nothing on no side of the ball. That's what's up. All right, let's fast forward. Let's fast forward to state championship game, Miami Northwestern. You guys down 21-0. Y'all playing against three, what? I think it was going for a three prep that time, right? Yeah. yeah I think it was about a three prep. Legendary. Yeah, that would have been that third, yo. Yeah, that would have been Let's be respectful. Water. Legendary Miami Northwest. That was, yeah. Corey, that was Corey and them boys. Corey boy. Harris. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the year before that, y'all played Teddy, though, I think. Y'all played Teddy. We played Teddy. Mm -hmm. Teddy. I yeah, went to school. Bridge. I met That's up with right. Jacory them in, in yeah. college, though. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they was the year before me. Oh, they played Teddy. Teddy. The they played Teddy. Oh, Jacory won the year before. Yeah. I said that was the three P because Jacory won two in a row, and Teddy came right back in, and they was undefeated. Y'all was undefeated state right, championship. Right, 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 right. Correct, correct. We were 13 to 2. Oh, y'all y'all went undefeated? Nah. We lost, we like lost two, two games. games. Yeah. Two games. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, yeah. I, some, some, yeah, but it was thirsty. One two, that's what I guess. One game, one game, you were hurt. One oh, game. yeah, you go one eight and two. Y'all go, go, went eight and two man. in the regular season, and then. Yeah, it was what? like a, it was like an off conference. It didn't really didn't matter. Against who? Spruce Creek and uh, oh y'all lost uh, to Spruce Creek man Dr. And, uh, Phillips. and Dr. Phillips DP was straight though. yeah Dr. DP Phillips had a couple of little stuff they were loaded over there Spruce Creek in, in, in yeah. uh, Daytona right yeah yeah over that way in Volusia yeah. 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 yeah yeah but we met them again in the playoffs and oh Martin. yeah we got our yeah, redemption so on saying, both of Sp uh, Spruce Creek yeah, yeah. Right. so now you now now we're in the big game right this is the one down twenty one zero oh yeah that that well, it's who, about the atmosphere who, for a second who, who's um Who's leading the sidelines? Cause like somebody's got to do that. Well, he oh, was a shit. bit. He, was you. Ray 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 Ray, Ray, Ray did a lot of uh, roaring. I will tell you that. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Uh, it was Ron Ron Moore. 
Boy, I ain't gonna oh, yeah, Coach Ron. He was yeah. the heart of our team, though, for real. Oh, man. Hey. It would be tired. It was Coach Ron. Yeah, Rest yeah, in yeah. peace, man. It would be times I'll yeah. be tired, dead yeah. tired. Yeah. And he'll just. You're going to hear him from hey. anywhere. I don't care how many people hey. in the stadium, you're going to hear his just voice. Straighten up. Big you know dude. Yeah. About 6'3, about 380. So the, mm-hmm. the, so you say the state championship game 21 down. We we really wasn't panicking because we've been in that situation before. Like right. you said, like we 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 uh you know leading up to that game, we were down. So we we went into yeah. halftime and we were kind of laughing. You know to be like uh I, I, I can't you know what I'm saying. Lie, we, that was some yeah. crazy. Shit. We we we, we really we was we was well, it was 21 seven going into halftime. Y'all was laughing. We, we were yeah. laughing because because they because we because we they had. Was, I was I was pissed. Right. We were they like but when but when but we, when he came in when we came in the locker room though when it was like everybody already gave out that vibe or they literally was laughing though people were laughing and because like, bro you tripping man we finna yeah go right back out here and handle business anyway. But that well, shit was man. crazy though. That calmed me down though, for real. Because I I was already mad because we was losing going into the Because like, bro, we came out here really like the coaches started choking moving. You, oh, expect, you expect the players to come out here and do something. But it's like, bro, it, and we done had like probably two, three delay games in a row because they couldn't get a play in. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Space so we got here. Then, then we probably we fumbled the first first quarter two. Like Dude, all type of up. stuff. We just shoot, shooting Dude. ourselves in the foot. So we going to that bitch at halftime, everybody now joking around, laughing. We think it's like, man, what the hell going on? Man, it's I can like- tell you what, I can tell you what we had did, man. So we had, so like we said, we had two uh, twins in the front of the line. <laughs> and we, and if you can look back at the game, it was a penalty. Right behind them boys. This is what we did. We, we, we told our uh, offensive linemen to say some things to their <laughs> defensive linemen. You know what I mean? To kind of get in their yeah. head. And I kid you not, going into the next half, if you can look at back at that game, one of the defensive linemen had came across the line and slapped the uh, the offensive <laughs> lineman and then the knock and then the knock the mock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I just remember hey. that because that's because 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 we was in their head and, and yeah. we and we knew that we were going, you know, like we were laughing because we knew that we were going to go out there and get in their head and they ain't never been in no fight before. You know what right, I mean? Like right. a lot of the teams that they used to play when they get when they get up twenty one. You know, tw- they, the other team just lay down. Right, right, right. So right. when we came back out there, you know, I feel like that's that's we we just had that confidence. Like that's how we was built. Spawn. Yeah. You end up scoring what? Uh, yeah, twenty eight in a row, right? Twenty eight yeah, points in a row, man. Yeah, we're in the row. To close that out. Yeah, one hundred percent. Coming out third quarter, they only had the ball one time. Yeah. Yeah, we shot. I got a sack on that. Different. Yeah. yeah, I got a sack on New that. things were shifting in y'all direction, man. Yeah. That, that's um, that's a dope way to end up, you know, a season. You end up getting that title. Um, so let's mm-hmm. let's fast forward a little bit to, uh, you know, going into the college process, right? So, we're you know, obviously the, well, we covered the big three here, uh, and you know we did all right, two out of three. And somebody got shut out. <laughs> you went to Florida, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, man, first off, that man made yeah, a nice this, business decision. Let me man. ask, yeah, let me ask this real quick. Cause I got a cane, cane slash wildcat. Nah, hell no, nah, that's just I am, but that ain't. <laughs> 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 that what it is? I graduated. Hey, man, that what it is? All right, all right, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, we had a gator. Yeah, yeah, Great yeah. day to be a gator. Was, was, was hey, Florida State? Never a bad we, day. We don't want to meet at championship. Yeah, we did. Like, yeah. Oh, man, you just I'm just letting it be known cool. where I come from. Though. Oh, that's cool. We got, we got, <laughs> we got, we got, we got Bethune uh, alum on, on, yeah. on the set, man. Y'all yeah, talking yeah. greasy about Bethune, man. Right. Yeah, but he know my, he know the Nobody ain't saying nobody. No, I'm just playing, bro. He's just talking, bro. We were fine. So, was was Florida State ever in the picture for any of y'all? Um, nope, cause that, that shit was country as hell. Yeah. <laughs> cause it was in Tallahassee. Yeah, nigga coming from the country, reason. nigga ain't going back to the country. So y'all well, gonna do it. it was at the time, it was because of Bobby Bowden, man. He was like almost, I ain't gonna say, you know what I mean? He was just really old. Yeah. I, I remember on no, my keep recruit. Keep a G with it, keep a G with it. I, I, I remember on my recruiting visit, man. He didn't, like, he didn't even, uh, he introduced um, himself in the beginning of the day. And then he had to re like, he didn't remember 
You know what I'm saying? He was just basically <laughs> going through the fight. That boy was old, man. <laughs> he was old, old, you feel me? That was my mascot, bro. He was past time. Yeah. It was like yeah. weekends at Bernie's, man. It was past time. It was weekends at Bernie's, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Jim, yeah. man, Jim, one of y'all boys, hey, man, hold tight. Rest in peace, Bobby, man. I got about another year or two. Just just chill. It's going to be my shit about another year. Yeah, that's what that's what his pitch was, actually. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened, too. They said it was a lot of things they said that happened. Oh, That's a risky business, so. Well, so no, I understand the situation, though, man. But Jim yeah. was right, though. This whole tight, but y'all boys had it was some hitters at, at Florida and Miami that's, that's, that's trying that's trying to make something shape. Yeah, man. man. So you're going through the process. Um, you know, obviously, two of y'all ended up in Miami. One at one at Florida. How was uh, how was the pr- process ultimately like? Was it who were really contenders? You know. We can go like from here over there. Who are your true contenders? Um, let's do that first, and then we'll come back around and, and figure out what um, made you make that decision. Miami, Florida. Florida was in there too. Miami, uh, LSU, definitely. I ain't gonna lie, that was definitely a vibe. That shit was different. Yeah. Bad rules, yeah. Man. Yeah. That's about really it. I really, you know, really, I wasn't finna go nowhere. I really wasn't finna leave Florida though. So it was really Miami and Florida, but. I thought I went to Florida first. I fell in love with it, but when I went to Miami, that shit was different. Yeah, it was just like, man, I ain't going nowhere else. There ain't no point, you know. Explain, explain the different. What, what you, what you nah, say? No, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's genuine, man. You know what I'm saying? When when we came in when it was Shannon era, it was yes. different. You know what I'm saying? The people you come in, they look just like you, talk just like you, they vibe just like you. It was just right. natural. You know what I'm right. saying? We just blended in with everybody, and everybody made you feel at home. You know what I'm give, give us some, give us some Randy Shannon, man. Randy Shannon was a good recruiter and you know, a brother uh, in in a in the head seat in a big three job. What was that like coming in uh, or, or getting recruited by Randy, Randy Shannon? Uh, I mean, he, he he wasn't really the recruiter. Only thing he really what I respected him more. So he told my mom was just like he gonna make sure I graduate and become a man at the end of the day. You know right. what I'm saying? And that was one thing he kept his word on, but. Um, it was just the people outside of me, even just the people who naturally went there. Like one time I spoke to Rohan Marley for like an hour. Like that's who really convinced me, you know what I'm saying? Out of anybody for real. Cause when I went there, he was the first person to grab me out of nowhere and just like oh. talked to me for a whole hour before I even, you know what I'm saying? And oh. like, I didn't know who he was until yeah. after the fact, you feel me? So that was like one person who convinced me though. And I've uh, been a fan of Ray Lewis. And then, like I say, just naturally being out there and uh, all the greats to come through. You know what I'm saying? So, Dre, what was it like uh, being compared or, you know, University of Florida uh, selling the Percy role? What was that like in the it recruiting was process? It was actually horrible, man. Like, <laughs> I, I can only man. imagine, like, bro. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you, you, you want to go into college and you want to make a name for yourself. You know what right. I mean? And, and like coming in and, you know, being the next guy. You know what I mean? That's just, that's not what you want. You feel me? You want to make a name for yourself. And, and that's and that's what, that's what kind of I, I had to do. But the, with the recruit, to answer your question, with the recruiting, my mama signed off Miami off the rip. Like she ain't have no say in none of the, none of the, uh, like nothing at all. But she was like, I know you ain't going to Miami. So like <laughs> that was basically that. Why was that? Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, I didn't really, you know, go into it. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I, ultimately it was my decision. But you know, my my mom signed them off, and and Urban, you know. Uh, Florida had just won the national championship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, my team. Yeah. So, yeah. you, you know, it, it was kind of hard to tell Urban Meyer no when he's calling. You know what I mean? He calling you. He he would. This is the type of stuff that he would do during the a recruit. He would call you before like a, a a press conference. Like he would call you on the phone and be like, "Yo, uh, pick up the phone. I'm about to go. You know, go on TV and then he'll hang up the phone and then you turn on Sports Center. He is on on a like he would do that type yeah. of stuff. So like. It was. It's really hard for a 17, 18 year old kid to say no to that. You know what I mean? Lie. You know what I'm saying? I got a story like, about Erd too. One time, I didn't mean to cut you off. Nah, you good. But, I was but it's, just, it's hard. Herbs. It's hard. It's hard to say Herbs no to that. That boy, that boy oh, called, my, my, called my cell phone in that class, right? In the right. middle of the class, so I'm talking to him. My teacher was like, "Who was that on the phone?" Mind you, my teacher was an alumni of University of Florida. Oh yeah, she cool with that shit. No, it was a he though. No, he so he called my phone shit. and I'm like, he like, man, I'm saying, he said, what are you doing if I said, I'm talking to everybody. He like, quit lying, man. So listen, he was like, man, I'm in my teacher. He don't believe me. So he he said, tell me that, what's the class number. So I gave him the classroom number. He called that bit, right? Yeah. 
So I'm on the class phone talking to I gave it to the teacher. Said, give me the phone to the teacher. He talked to that boy. He didn't believe it. Got the boy address, sent the boy a picture and, and with a message to him, like on the picture. Man, I ain't have to do nothing else, man. For the rest <laughs> of the year, man. I ain't have to go to class, no nothing. Like walking. perfect attendance, A, all oh, man, that boy couldn't believe it. That boy see me one day walking. On the bus stop, hey, Darren, look, I got it. I didn't believe you, but now I do, man. You did it forever, bro. Like, G shit, man. That was, uh, I was like, yeah, he played some mind games, though. But in a good <laughs> way, though. In a good way, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. He's a great recruiter. I needed recruiter, that, man. though. He's a great yeah. recruiter, I'll tell you that. You know what I'm saying? He, he, kinda, he basically, like, Urban knew that the key to get me was to get to, to get to my daddy. You know what I mean? And he got once he got my daddy on board, I was, you know what I'm saying, basically a gator. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? What the schools is at you? You said oh, mine was, was out of it. I I I, I really like LSU, and the, you know it really came down That's like. So uh, you want to eat no grass from Les Miles? No, nah, Les Miles was was dope, man. I actually told Les Miles to his face that I was gonna be a that Tiger. Boy, like I I I, 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 like I, I silently committed to do. I silently committed to do. Hey, see, look, so look now, look. I'm gonna tell y'all. So now going with that story, like with LSU, the coach. Um, uh, he was at Cookman, wide receiver coach. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, coach DJ. Coach DJ McCarthy. Yeah. So he was at LSU at the time. He was a wide mm -hmm. receiver coach. That's who recruited me. Yep. I'm telling you, that was a great gym. That dude was stuck with, with me through DJ the whole, real. my whole oh, college, no matter what. Yeah. When I got kicked yeah, out of UM, DJ McCarthy, that's what, that's like who got the, me to uh, Cookman, though, because yeah, I got DJ. kicked out at the last minute. It, it was over with. Ain't nobody had all the scholarships was gone. That boy called me. Bing. That's what's up. Man, it's crazy. That boy brought I, me in, yeah, I, I, yeah. I can hit DJ to this day by, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, good dude, he'll, man. He'll come from good dude, he'll man. Yeah, he, he, he a genuine dude. If he, if he rocked with you, he rocked with you for yeah, life. Yeah, 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 he good dude, though. Yeah, we'll hear the LSU though. story. Yeah. yeah. Where was, oh, yeah. Where, where, was I, where was I with the LSU? Yeah. One of the, I ain't gonna lie, they used to fly us out there, though, but one time they came and got us in a coach bus, bro. They came in the LSU but whole painted, you know what I'm saying, like, King size bed and all, like we driving the McDonald's and the big ass LSU man, bus with the tiger. Like, tight shit, like, for like, real. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. dropped it on the helicopter. Well, Les Miles was the first with the helicopter, huh? He yeah. Yeah. up to the game with it, though. Yeah. At y'all, at, 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 at the crib. The high school game, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Lyman, the Lyman game. Well, nah. Well, nah we know, we took so many Oh, Vito game. Oh, Vito game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Bilo. <laughs> That's our barber. Nah. Ray, Ray, what was your uh, recruitment like? Uh, like coming down, was you dead locked on Miami? I mean, we took visit pretty much anywhere, <laughs> yeah. everywhere, just for the hell like, of it, just to go see it. You feel me? But right, my, my, my top five was going was what was Florida State, Florida, Miami, I think it was Georgia at the time, and LSU. Yeah. Man, That's a solid five. Nice, but. For real, for real, already we already knew for real that we weren't leaving Florida anyway. Yeah. But I mean, but the recruitment process was love, man. That shit was Man, that was everything dope, man. you wanted to be for yeah, real. Yeah. Like, Y'all boys got I mean, some, they got some NIL packages. Man, man we should have had man. them M's right now, though. Oh, <laughs> they need to reimburse man, us man. for real. Boy, I wish I was we started right this barbecue man, shit. Listen. <laughs> I ain't man, we started this barbecue about. shit. Boy, man. 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 Shout out to Uncle Luke. LSU, right? was, LSU was about Uncle to, Luke. Boy, they was about to show love. Man, yeah, LSU, yeah. Like, they got a whole and different duffel. pitch. Oh, it's, yeah, they, it's, had, it's, they, they had, had that money, though. Give me, give, give, me, give me LSU pitch, man. Oh, man. We're going to get y'all so boys a house. Real, right? Like, so they, oh. they, so their whole thing is uh, they, 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 they get you with a, a booster, basically. And that's what, you know, because the, the rules and regulations is much different from yeah. what it is right, back right, then. Right, right. So they get you with a booster and basically they just do whatever you do. Like we were flying out like- Like three, four, five like times a week. My, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I didn't go to prom and I, I I didn't go to prom cause I thought that was just so, I was done Too, with high school. Yeah, yeah. Cause I was flying out the <laughs> back room. Like I was telling you, I was flying out the back room childish prom. every other weekend. Like we yeah. were like, where y'all wanna, where you wanna go? Nigga, yeah, yeah. We, we, we the top of the stadium, yeah, like, clothes. We were, I was, man, listen. <laughs> This is this is when I knew we was crazy. Oh, when, we, when we when we took our uh, official visit to game, Miami, boy. when we took our official visit to uh, Miami, like you know we we from uh, San Francisco, I used to just you know black tea cargos. You feel me? You know in Miami, 
got a dress code, you know what yeah, I'm right, saying? Right, so right, 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 right. we were, uh, they took us out in Miami. We were Uncle Luke. And we were, uh, initially we was with uh, with Harris, with Jacor yeah, Harris. Yeah. And then we were waiting in line. And then Jacor uh, saw Uncle Luke, he was premiering a show at the time. I, I don't know, it was like some, uh, some reality we, show. Some I reality mean, show yeah, at yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. So Jacor called Uncle Luke and then he was like, oh, man, bring them boys. He was like, you got the boy. So he, we, we ended up uh, like club hopping on South Beach. And I remember uh, just sitting in the club. In high school, this is in high yeah. school, <laughs> man. You feel me? And people and people looking at us like, you know, like I'm wondering why people looking at us like, man, what the, you know? Cause we got short songs, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Big ass clothes. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I ain't get out much. some bullshit. It was just, it was just, you know, I just knew that Miami was. It's a whole nother, like, see, the difference between Gainesville and Miami is like, you going, you know, you partying on South Beach, so you, you partying with Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? And stuff like in Gainesville, you know, you going to- uh, <laughs> You are Lil Wayne. Yeah, you, are Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah, you are Lil Wayne. That's, that's exactly what it is. Like, no you doubt. Know, you, and that's, that's what it like, is. How you, like, which, which, I guess, which type you like? You want to be Wayne or you want to yeah, be like, Wayne? You know, yeah, like, so you want to uh, play beer pong or you want to be the, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you know, what you want to do. the whole club saying? down. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh, man, we had some time down in South. Nah, so LSU was taking care of y'all like that during regards to- Oh man, LSU. Don't, they don't play by the rules at all. At all. <laughs> That's you know, their they real. Different That's type of money. Man. They got different type. Like they, yeah. they, they, and this was, you know, them boys was riding around in uh, what charges and I don't remember the boy had an H two like. Hummers, hummers, like yeah, they were you know what I'm saying, whips, and that's small. what they pitch was like. Yeah, you get a black card here, you know, man. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't live on campus. You don't live on campus. You, you live off campus here. You know, like all that freshman dorms. You don't do that. You get you a house out here. You feel me? You be like. That's the pitch. It was a black you card in the house. Cars, yeah, like they, where we they give you a parents out anytime. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's no, they. That's they pitch. Come move, they get them places to stay pitch. job type I'm shit. They, the the, the booster, the booster. I'm out. I'm I'm about to say, I probably was tigers. They got the whole. Yeah, man. They do a lot of crazy stuff with that. That shit was just different, bro. Yeah, it was hard. It was hard to say no to that. Didn't want to leave Florida, man. That's the reason I ain't go to LSU because it was a nine-hour trip. If it was a shorter trip, no, nine-hour trip for who though? Drive it for my. Who driving? Man, my daddy driving, man. man. So like, I'm thinking about my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like, but, that, there, but listen, cause LSU, LSU had me, like I, I was all for LSU. Cause you know, yeah. DJ McCarthy, like he, you know, DJ was there like. I call like coach DJ, it was, man, man LSU was so dope. But, that but I knew that my parents was gonna come to all my games and kind of like, they were gonna drive. And I wasn't gonna have my parents driving nine hours when they can just go to Gainesville. Like. Up on that jet. Yeah, it was, yeah. it was a. No brain. NIL. Yeah. Boy, well, I wish. Back, I baby. wish. Boy, God. Y'all ain't get no handshakes or nothing in the recruiting man, process? Them, we started oh, that mean, shit. Man. You talking about what, what the, what, what, some handshakes? Yeah. Handshake, what you mean what by you that? Mean? <laughs> With some in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In the recruiting oh, process. Man. Man. Man, you getting all Allegedly. Hey, man. Oh, it we was got a no. legend now. It's legal. <laughs> no, I ain't even gonna lie. I have a few on. It was a lot of rules being See, broken. Y'all got y'all went in South Florida. We know the culture, bro. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the rules down there. You gotta get paid down there, bro. If you could play in South Florida, you're getting paid. You know, oh, no. the vibes. <laughs> uh, it's a little different in North Florida. Central yeah. Florida. Central Florida. Bro. Central Florida. <laughs> nah, I was getting paid on high school. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I was getting like a hundred a sack, fifty for loss. Tigers. For people in the hood, you will say like the like I remember my whole boys give me a twitty every touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they, you talking about pay from college, coach, college and shit, bro? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, they ain't talking about that. That's oh, regular nah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's neighborhood. <laughs> that's neighborhood yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, niggas get that anyway. No, right. No, hell no, nah, man. Now nah, they weren't doing none of that, bro. For real? Hell no. Nah. So I had access to stuff like as far as like no. taking care of you, like in the LSU store, like if y'all yeah, needed something. They some. probably flying you out somewhere, doing stuff like that, flying you, you and yeah, they just to the. I mean, to the facility or whatever, but what, they what do you need? No bags on yeah. your head and nothing like that. Nah, you don't need. We we were you know broke high school kids. You feel oh, me? Like it ain't much to mesmerize. They give you experience. Right, 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 right. right. You, know what I'm you got sense. all the glamour and everything. Yeah. You'll never think you have yeah. all yeah, the mansions, you know, cars, all that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All they, they, they give you all the job. Yeah. So it's just like you really got if you're gonna fall for it or not, really. So yeah, if you, Ray Ray, you you going through the process, um, 
We're going to go, you know, state champs at this point. What was it really boiling down to for you? As far as making the decision where you were going to ultimately end up at. In college? <laughs> where were you? Yeah, in college at this point. So, like, what was really the deciding factor coming into yeah, that? Bro, for me, bro, for real, like, I wasn't leaving Florida. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I had all them other schools out there, but for me, I really wasn't going to leave Florida. So, he was out of Florida, Florida State, and Miami. And like I said earlier, you asked us about Florida State. Mm. And you heard me, what I said. I said, the reason why I ain't going to Florida State because it was Tallahassee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the city. Right. In my head, for real, bro, like that whole whole process, bro, I'm like, okay, what can I go to? What school can I go to? And what city can I go live in for three to four years? and have a great time at the same time while I'm playing football. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I was already coming from Sanford, you feel right. me? So imagine right, that. Right. I'm, going, I'm coming from Sanford, it ain't really, it ain't too much of nothing, for real, for real. We barely even went to Orlando like that, you know what right. I'm saying? So, <laughs> all right, coming from Sanford, then you going to Tallahassee, there ain't nothing in Tallahassee, bro. Like, Tallahassee and Gainesville. Come on, like he said, would you want to go play beer pong? Yeah. Or you want to go on South Beach with Uncle Luke? You know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right. it was like, what you want to do? I got you. That's yeah. literally the experiences that I got, bro. You right. feel me? Like we really was doing that for real. We was out there, man. Yo, and I'm in high school at the time, so Big I'm all right back. Like on the I'm not going to Gainesville. That city too boring. I'm not going to Tallahassee is too boring. Like, Miami, Miami, like, come on, bro. You you are balanced. It was a, it was a wrap. And then on top of that, that was my daddy's favorite team and shit. My favorite player at the time was Sean Taylor. Yeah. And I played See, safety. I ain't had no favorite you know team. I played I safety like too, so it was. <laughs> like, I wish I had a favorite team or my daddy had a favorite team. Like, hey, like I just didn't. I you didn't, didn't grow really, up liking football? I mean, I grew up liking foot. I had favorite players, but I ain't never grew up like. What team, man? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, nah, I just, you know, like. So was, what was it like playing beer pong in, in Gainesville and shit? <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I ain't do none of that. Well, man. he made a comment of, you know, you, it's, like that's all it is in Gainesville is is is, is, man, is football. On, you, know you know it's straight bars and stuff like that. So it's just like, yeah, house party. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, no, you, you, it's, it is what it it's is. It's a little you different down It's down called Gaines Vegas. Gaines <laughs> Vegas. Vegas. Gaines Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, man. Like, you got to understand, bro, like, for real, like, our college, when me and Doc, we was, we was at the U together. So you got to understand, like, when we was, like, at the time, the Dolphins weren't popping like that, when probably were never yeah. popping. That was before LeBron and them came down there, too, so the Heat yeah. weren't really popping like that. But the U was still ride on the little way they had from them couple championships they done won, you feel me? So it was, like, really, bro, like, they respected it. Like the old, we were there, we was young, but we were there with partying with old heads and stuff. So when we go out, they, they any anybody from the U, they showing you love. You feel me? So literally, right. bro, when we out, when we out on South Beach in the club, we got like it's like you say, we got them same all them entertainers, who rappers, whoever actors, all them that's people. Who they you party with. We, that's who we with. That's who we in a section with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you look to your left, you might see Wayne over there, you might see Jeezy over here, anything like that. So that shit came normal. You feel me? So then it was like, man, come on, bro. You gonna go to Gainesville and party with them people? Or you right. gonna be down south doing that? <laughs> but mom took that shit up. Mom took that shit off the list, off man. real. Yeah. She was trying to protect you, you think? I mean, it wasn't trying to protect me. I mean, it, it was, she she just exited off and I was just like, I mean, I, I <laughs> bro, Gainesville was just, they just won a national championship. Should have came down like, there with you us. Know, should've, you should have went to Miami. He should have came down there with us, man. It was a lot of shooters, you know what I mean? Like, yep. uh, you know, I don't have any regrets at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, go you play for I mean? go play for Urban Meyer or Randy Shannon. <laughs> I mean, exactly. It don't matter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, take, you get a title. I mean, the city no, get a title. sounds yeah, fun. We might want home. No, home. what I'm saying, yeah. the city sounds fun, but it's no, other. I get it. It's no, other no. The side I mean, but what are you? What are you going right? to school for? I mean, are you going to school to party? Are you going to That's school to get it's your lesson the side and, and, and play I would have went to party. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So like, you. Man, that's that's one of yeah, it's, it's different like, perspectives like, though, bro. Cause you gotta think about it. You seeing motherfuckers in all type of forms. Where we come from, boy, they see a foreign in the hood. They going, but you see that every day, all day. Right. Yeah. That's motivation. You trying to get that bread at the end of the day. That's your goal. So that's you right, had more right, motivation right. there in Miami it was, than anything. It was a hard decision. At the end of the day, yeah. it was all about the motivation. You the, it was a recession in 09. It wasn't a recession in Miami. 
I ain't seen no recession yet. You right about that. Life is a different move, place. They don't ever know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, people yeah. going broke? Yeah. <laughs> I hate to hear it. Yeah. Nah, nah, <laughs> motivation. I, I mean, it's, it's poverty there. Don't talk about yeah. no, 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 it. No, no, no. But they got yeah. hustle out there, though. They ain't niggas out here selling socks and waters. That was the first time I seen somebody on the side of the road. Waters. Dollar water. You go get a 35 pack of water for $5. You make it $35. That's you got $30 profit. They out there hustling. Just getting that was to the first it. time I seen that, you know what I'm saying? That was, that's what drawn me like Definitely seeing that hustle. Definitely had that in Sanford. Like like that hustling, man. Like that. No it matter what. It was a different what, lifestyle. They get money all moving. type of ways, man, for real. It was moving fast down there. Yeah. So, <laughs> so how for you guys, you go from the recruiting process to actually being on campus. What was that biggest transition? Like going from the high school range to I'm playing with the big boys now. What was your welcome to college moment? Man, mine was, you know, it was a, it was a lot. Well, I, I was injured, you know what I mean? So it was, I tore my uh, hamstring going into college. So it was kind of like a, you know, a humbling experience for me, and, you know, being away from yeah. football, you know what I'm saying? And sitting, that was my first time not playing football for a, a year, my whole life. So. My first year in college was uh, a humbling experience. You know to be like, you know, let, basically showing me that you, you human. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. coming from, uh, you know, a high, you know, high school rock star, and then you get injured, and then you drastically just see how people, you know, train like they just they just start, you know, pe people rise you up. Wave. But mm -hmm. then, but when, sure. you hurt, when you get hurt, when you get hurt though. You don't hear no like your phone. Like sometimes after a game in college, you have to turn your phone off, and because people trying to call your phone. But when you injured, you know the only Quiet. people calling you is your mama, your daddy, your family. That's yeah, who you yeah. really see who you, that. Like my freshman year in college really showed me who my really who my friends supporters were. were. Right, yeah, right, right. Because because like, like I said, you know, like I was a rock, we were rock stars. You know what I'm saying? And when you got hurt, they just everything people things people just th things don't stop when you when you stop yeah. world you, keeps moving the world keep moving that's, and that's, want to that's what my first year did to me it showed me man you ain't know you, you it's a great you, lesson though early it, was, in it life. was it was a great lesson for me i needed it you what know was what it mean? like i know uh playing with urban is a little tricky i know he played the psycho you know, oh, psychology man, game so what's that freshman year <laughs> like with urban right? back in his eyes man, man herb herb was herb, herb is the type of guy that he will like you, you didn't even want to walk down the hallway and be the only one in the hallway <laughs> with him like he would walk up <laughs> to everybody you. say like he would walk up to you and, and legitimately like Punching your stomach, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, really yeah, like, yeah, like, like, I, yeah. yeah, like Urban, Urban, Urban was Urban, the type of guy that, like, I don't see him talk to like some of our trainers, and you know, when he's finished talking to him, he'll turn his like turn his back on him, like the conversation is over. You know what I mean? Like, if 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 you wasn't his guy, oh, he would, t he, you know, he would tell you like. Say for instance, if you're not doing doing good in practice, he'll tell you, man, I don't, I don't know why I even sat in your uh, your living room and lied to your parents. Like and you're fat, you know what I mean? He was like, look at that, yo, look at this. Great. Like, he, man, Urban would that's he'll really so get it up out of you. You know what I mean? Like he 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 really <laughs> yeah, like he 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 he'll call you a waste of a scholarship in a heartbeat. I didn't seen him say that countless times. No doubt, no doubt. You know what I mean? It, but it's either you gonna do one or two things, either you gonna fold and, and ball up like a little beetle, you know, or or you gonna you gonna man up. And I you know he, that's the kind of game that he played. So you know, it was cold, it was tough it. if you wasn't ready. You cold. know what I'm saying? Like they. Man, like you said, it ain't it ain't you. You can't go in uh, South Beach and party down there. That's all it is, and this is great football. football there. So yeah. like, you gotta have a, a, a your mind on. You know what I'm saying for that. You know what I'm saying. It was crazy, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what about y'all boys? How that transition like from high school to uh, college? Man, it was a shock. Man, we we went from Seminole high school football to where we ran the program to where. It's a for me. I'm speaking for myself. It was a shock for me because like I, I was used to doing my own thing. You know what I mean? Like it, we used to tell our coach in high school, no, when we we didn't want to run sprints. Like nah, we good. They we we work hard to practice. <laughs> like yeah, so that's oh, that's how we. Man, I mean, trans no thank you. Me. Yeah, it was a little different. It was us, a little though. Different. I mean, we went in a little early working out, so we was ahead of our ooh, class. Yeah. Was shot, the same bro. thing, how, like we we had an injury. That's the same with me, man. I had messed up my knee. I was actually starting in, the, in this uh, spring game my freshman year, holding nigga up. Nigga ran his knee into my helmet into my knee. And shit, I had got a blood clot. 
So I mm. couldn't even do like no working out, no football, no nothing related. I was just a regular student. So it was just different for me, like my first year. So, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of the coming back on that, like how he's saying. Feel him. Yeah. Give, give us some uh, co the co culture of a uh, green tree, man. What was that practice culture out like that? Oh, like, that I did co co competition wise. Man, that shit was love. Went out in fights if you need to, <laughs> but it was love though yeah, at the end of the day. Sir. It was like offense against defense if we get in fights. Like, so oh, yeah, always. Like, right. one get in, you better jump in, or we gonna jump your ass. <laughs> I like, like G it. shit. <laughs> I like it. They gonna jump your ass, boy. Be G yeah. shit. Nah, yeah, it was competitive. Though, it was competitive. Bro. That's what. That's it what I'm saying. Though. That's on that field, like, man, you could you could down there get into fighting practice and then chill with the person that you they got in the fight with. But on that field, y'all really get at it. Yeah. Nah, to you, man. I mean, at the you, bro, it was it was love, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I mean, my first, my freshman year, my I, I ain't you came in, you came in eating. My freshman yeah. year was lit. You I came in lie. eating. Yeah, you got yeah. a. I don't remember. Playing. What was that like coming in uh, and, and, and getting right on the field and, and getting production, getting a little little hype right out the gate, man? I mean, that's, yeah, that's it, dope. It, was, it was, it was, bro, it was everything you wanted it to be. You feel me? Everything you thought it was going to be coming out of high school. My, my, literally, my first play in college was. Was a highlight. <laughs> a highlight. Like, Gee. my first play, bro, I, I smashed the dude. And he was just snapping on the sideline. It was, was Murray. It was Murray. And then uh, was playing Murray. Oklahoma. Yeah, what well, it was Murray. It was yeah, Murray. It was Murray. Yeah. Yeah. Marco. Okay. Yeah. Marco Murray. Yeah. Marco Murray. Marco Murray. That was a that. crazy game. That was like a prime time crutches. game. That was my first play on the field. Yeah. That was right. on Oxy. Fresh on crutches. <laughs> Me too. So, I mean, it was it was love, bro. I was chilling with my after homie that, Mike. Yeah, after that play, he was like, oh yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's after that. It was that's when I knew that's after that, that's when I knew all right there. Like I definitely like cause it was nerves before that, you feel me? Like just knowing coming out of high school, he boy been here. Mm -hmm. Right, and that was my first play. So after that, that's what they expected, it was, it was right there, boy. I was right sitting with my so homie Mike for that. He's a big Sooners fan, and I remember I was like, they told me this guy was that guy, and I was like, I was just pumped up. That was that stuff, and this bro. is like, that's my dog. Yeah, y'all like, like, yeah, like, see my dog, a... man. I told y'all, man. Right, yeah. yeah, selling out, such a moment. Yeah, that's, um, that shit was crazy. And then I think what your, your sophomore year, you went even crazier, right? So like mm -hmm. things is really starting to take off at this point. Yeah. Um, so now you're on the trajectory of, of, all right, you know, I keep going in this direction. Yeah. This is this is first round type deal. Like you really were on that, that angle. Oh yeah. But some things end up going left. Mm -hmm. um, Never. The How was that experience? First thing that was, uh, heartbreaking. Yeah, it was for me. Heartbreaking. <laughs> it was for me, and I ain't even you. Yeah. But you yeah, had that two six on. You was going crazy. I, I was man. I would tell everybody, oh, Ray Ray Armstrong, that guy. Like, no, nah, that was that was definitely heartbreaking, bro. I mean, life changing. You know what I'm saying? Cause like you said, bro, I went from. I was well, at the time. I wanted. to highest ranked safeties. I was one of the top safeties in the country. Absolutely. Like it was me. I was like top five at the time, you know, but I was a sophomore. You feel me? So, and then all that stuff came and hit us on my junior year. So, 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 so the scandal is with uh, reportedly Nevin Shapiro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Legendary uh, Ponzi schemer, uh, scammer, whatever. Um, Pretty much what, what got Miami on the su suspension the last time you guys, yeah. you guys had suspension with uh, Nevin Shapiro. What was your relationship like with him? Like, with, with, man, we didn't have no relationship, no relationship with that relationship man for real, man. Like, that man was somebody, literally, like, when we came on, we met this man probably once or twice, bro, like on a visit yeah. at the yeah. time. You feel me? We just come on a visit. The coaches, you know what I'm saying? The coaches, the one introduced us, um, introduced him to us, introduced us to him. You feel me? Like they brought us, brought us to him or brought they him to us. They take your parents to the it. school and they take so you straight fit, over the. Come on, are like you with the coaches at the time on a visit, bro? So you don't, you don't know nothing. Like you, don't, you think everything cool, right? Them people introduce us to him, but that's really all it was, bro. It ain't like we he he ain't give us no money, he ain't do none of that. You feel me? Like all the stuff we got in trouble for was because of back in the day. You know right. what I'm saying? All them people he was messing with in the two thousands and all that. You feel me? Right, but we broke some rules that we had. We had to, we had to um, pay for mm -hmm. their mistakes. Yeah, that's you a feel real me? thing. Yeah, 
Like he ain't we do really nothing for us. That man ain't giving us no money. Said. I said we broke some rules that we ain't know was rules. We ain't yeah. know it was rules till the first day we stepped on campus. And they had that introduction. <laughs> what was those rules? It was just like you can't take nothing from nobody. Like it's just different when the NCAA you sign a contract, you like, basically like any gifts, like anything whatsoever, they can't do can't nothing. Even take it ain't got to be no money, bro. You can't it, even take like, a pencil from nobody. Like you you I'm talking about like you know, y'all boys like, woke. this lighter, you can't get nothing. You know what I mean? Like, and, that, yeah. and that's and that's and that's how they used to play it. Like the NCAA, they they had all the rules yeah, and regulations. They own you. It's a contract. They, they own you. They they really you know they, they about a about by yeah. You feel me? So <laughs> what ultimately what they what did they end up uh, get, um, charging you with or violating you with, uh, Dyron? Shit, I had they suspended me for five games. They charged me. We had went for a dinner one time. <laughs> Our me. bill was like twelve hundred. We, and we didn't have to pay, we just, you know what I'm saying, was already taken care of, so yeah. we left. That was one thing, we had to pay that back. Uh, you know, they gave us like free clothes and shit, staying at the cold. How did they find this out? Back, no, man, how they, was, no, hold on, how did they find this out? That's so never doing. had, he had a uh, he had a runner, and the dude was working in the equipment room, so this is how he was connection to everything, getting all the shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was just like, it was just going through him, so he was just like knowing everything. Then, like not only that, it was real. This shit was like federal, so they were man, real they, feds watching. Man, like, so and I'm in games the whole time. Yeah, they, they man, it was it was so crazy. Like they 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 they, they, they took us through a lot because of what was going on with Nevin. Like yeah. I remember getting interrogated for a whole year. You know <laughs> what I mean? And mm. You know what I'm saying? You he really knew know. before we knew. Like they investigated yeah. all the outsiders before they came inside. Yeah, like we they, didn't know what was going on. They 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 investigated yeah, me for the moment. Was up? Nah, he couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was fooled. Right, yeah, yeah. Dog, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell him, but I can't say that. Yeah. Bro, but we ain't do nothing. That's crazy. It was, right, it was right, right, right. They they took you on a uh, bro. We just had to pay for it. What the school? The school had to be punished, and we had to go down with them. Yeah, we had to go down. The only reason they ain't go down. Anybody that was anybody came in through Randy Shannon, bro, they got them up out of there. The people who the people who brought us on upon that shit ain't have to. They ain't get no fault for that shit. Of course not. It was like we took the fault for their right, ass, right, and they right, were just right, like right. blaming niggas. So that shit like stuck through their career for the rest of the year. It's like that was over your head, bro. That shit, that shit like called. Shit. They took, that shit they, took money, bro. Bro. they took millions money. They took millions from me, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know for sure. They what did they technically the uh, dismiss you with, uh, Ray Ray? Man, I ain't nothing. Wasn't nothing for. Listen, bro. I got. I went out to eat. Went. Went to Prime One Twelve, but at the time, you feel me? You in college? They feel like just because you in college, you can't, you can't. How you get? How you be able to afford That's that? That's insane, meal? right now in hindsight. You know what I'm saying? Just simple, yeah. simple stuff like that. You feel right me? Now. Like yeah. you in college and you different. can't even go to a restaurant. That's right. That's out here. You right. know what I'm saying? They automatically assuming somebody paid for it, or you got it from you got an agent, or you got this and that and that. Bro, we were just going through so much at the time with the school, you feel me? So we everything was under a microscope, bro. Everybody did everything. that. Bro. And all the watched. visits, every visit you go out to eat and do all that, you know what I mean? It's just because they were going through it with the dude, Nevin. They yeah. brought up all this stuff, you know what I mean? Like the, so the school, crazy. we they couldn't put, go to a bowl game for a certain amount of years. Right. You think you think that? <laughs> they put like a bowl They had, they had, they had a situation in, in regards to Randy Shannon's fate and how that, how that situation played out in Miami. He was black, man. I don't know. Man. Man. I don't know. They ain't finna give a nigga too much room for <laughs> nothing, bro. That's just what it was at the end of the day. They ain't give that man the resources he needed. Because we were five. We had the number one defense. And he had the highest graduation rate. What do you think Randy Shannon was missing? You say he didn't get the resources. He ain't had a resource. He had a back in front of the school, bro. That's all it was. He ain't want no money. Man, we're getting 2.5 for what, five years? Right. Go right. Golden came in again a million a year. And they still paying him to this day. <laughs> Feel me? So, Bottom line, and they had that, the same record. That's not new. Yeah. You know, that's that's so that's, that's what it is. It was a black dude, man. Right now, is they are actually spending money, but yeah, yeah. You, you right in the sense that it's crazy that Miami paid the black dude and they get the black dude the resources though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's wild, bro. I got <laughs> you want to do racism? Yeah, yeah I that's got what you want to do. Nah, 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 it ain't. That is just that's just <laughs> how the game go though. We ain't how the resources though. Nah, that's the thing. It ain't. That just you know. It's that's just system, how they bro. operate. They we ain't saying no racism. We were just saying that's just how the system. Is, he just me and him got racism war oh, going yeah, on. That's yeah, all yeah. it oh, is. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, he be trying to hit us with the ipinatas and salsa <laughs> and all that. You know what I mean, <laughs> but uh, so process goes through. Everybody's in, okay. Let we, we go. Y'all want to fast forward a little bit to 
we get towards the draft. Now, I want I want to ask Dre real quick. I'm the Gator guy, bro. So I want to ask Dre, yeah, yeah. like going through the, all the injuries. Um, I mean, we all saw the, like the flashes of it, whether it was like kit return. You wanted the, the the most prolific Gator kit returners of all time. And when you look mm-hmm. at the stats of it all, you wanted the greats. Creepy, um, man. Yeah. And we all saw when, when you got the ball in your hands, what you could do with it. Um, you had to deal with not just Urban, you had to deal with Muschamp as well. Oh, man, I uh, had. How many I, different offense coordinators you had? Like six of them or something crazy? I had, I had, um, <laughs> I had five offensive coordinators and uh, six position coaches. And like, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's a different playbook every every spring. You know what I mean? And, and Florida, my biggest thing, because I didn't play offense. You know what I mean? I was known as a, as a special teams guy. You know what I mean? And towards the end of my career, I, I basically just accepted that. Like, man, listen, this is what I'm going to do. And my senior year, if you look back at it, like I didn't play no offense at all. You know what I mean? And uh, straight specialties guy. You know what I mean? Like I used to be in there with the uh, with the punters during meeting time. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. I ain't I no for punters. I swear. <laughs> we end up we we, we 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 end up kick we end up kicking kicking shits in the locker room. You know what I mean? During practice. Be having you a good time saying? where everybody locked in everybody the meeting. Working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's but too uh, funny, bro. it was <laughs> he dead ass though. I'm dead serious, <laughs> man. Uh, I you know Florida, my my relationship with Florida, man, it was it was just it was just crazy because you know that they biggest thing with me was I wasn't a consistent player, but like the entire time I was there, they ain't show me consistency. Right, right. facts. I mean, you know, at, at all, and you know, I, I I did become kind of rebellious to the coaching staff because like I was basically looking at them like, man, y'all ain't gonna be here next year. Like I'm gonna be here, you know what I mean? And, at Florida, like that that uh, that mm-hmm. program, they so used to it. they so like uh, spoiled for winning. So like right. them coaches, if you don't go in there and perform, and like they they give you like two years, you know what I mean? If you if you ain't doing something by that third, you know about two to three years, you, they finna erase you and bring mm-hmm. in somebody else. And unfortunately, that's how my career went. You know what I mean? I went through a lot of you know transition. And, you know that's the, and that's just the way it was. You know what what I mean? was it like going from uh, Urban Meyer to Muschamp? Cause Muschamp a screamer. He got oh, in your face man. a few times. What was that oh, like? Man, Ur- Urban, you know, Urban was just the type of guy that just say some slick, some some slick ass shit to make you think like, whoa, like what the fuck. But Muschamp is just the one that just get in your face and just be, you know, down the spitting in your face. <laughs> like he was a de- defensive minded coach, so like I ain't really deal with him at all when he was there you know what i'm saying like when we would split and go into our different individual he would you know like right. urban was more of an offensive guy so like he he was more talkative towards these because these coaches like at that level if they don't if they don't mess with you they don't they don't even pay you no mind like they don't speak to you in the hallways mm-hmm. what's that like though because they recruit real quick i mean in a, nah, it's real though, you quickly yeah. learn that it's a business you quickly learn that it's a business yeah, like, everybody getting school, paid by the people who making them. Yeah, money. like all, you, from high school to from college, you quickly learn that it's a, it's say a, that again. Well, then it was. Now say it again. Say it again. I say all the people who getting paid, like, but the people who everybody getting paid by the motherfuckers who making, who the, making money. the money. Like, we the yeah. one was making the money, but we ain't, we ain't right. getting get no piece. But you it. quickly learn that it ain't no game no more. It's, it's a business. A business. Yeah, like yeah. this ain't no game no more. That's what I learned. I was like. I did so, definitely. That shit different now, though. Mm-hmm. We had to go through that, though, for it to happen now, though. That's a good thing, though. Yeah. Oh, young 100%. Like, like, good to see young niggas getting their money, though. Sh- they we work. just getting M's out of there. They getting M's man. coming out of high school. Oh, and, yeah. and in high school. It's insane, man. Yeah, yeah. Boys getting paid. It's insane, out of man. high school, yeah, yeah. you straight yeah. to college with that? I mean, you you technically, you come out like five star. You was like top, top receiver in the state, uh, top 10 in the country, two or three in the country, one in the country, around that. Mm-hmm. Um, with those type of receivers getting right now, the checks they getting yeah, and the endorsements crazy. they getting is insane. Crazy. Man, listen, I try not to think about it. I'll tell you, I, 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 <laughs> I try not to think about, about it. Dog. I, I, think about that, think about it I just know we would have had probably one of the biggest deals in history at the time. Cause just think about when we came like, out, bro. We didn't know how big we were till we went to the All American game. Oh and yeah! Everybody in that was all America. They they did it on purpose, bro. They brought us in at last. Yeah, like we you didn't realize they had both teams. Like going through room. that whole like high school see, year, you don't really realize like how big it is because you <laughs> in it. You yeah, know right, what right. Mean? right. And but then, you got niggas but, from but, na- national but when everywhere. We went to the All American game. That's when we then were like, talking, Ooh, right? Like us three walk in and everybody just get quiet and just starstruck looking at us. 
We in that bitch like, these niggas here for the same thing, ain't it? Like, the fuck y'all niggas niggas, bro? That's when we really like. That's when niggas knew it was like. Something This man that NIL was then, boy. Oh, man. Y'all was a media sensation, I'm going to hold it, y'all. Watching from the outside, like yeah, I said, that yeah. was the first one I followed, man. I, that was a thing, man. And yeah, yeah. I couldn't imagine being in that situation. Uh, so, all right, everybody's done. We done done, we done done college, right? So, Ray Ray, you end up, um, you know, eventually getting dismissed. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that situation? That was, they were trying to pin something on you, but a... Uh, well, agent or something like that. Yeah, young time, lady, wasn't I mean, it? It was my girl though. But she, oh. but she ain't had nothing to do with no agent. Yeah, and that's why I don't even know where that came from. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. That's why I'm saying this situation was just unfortunate, bro. Because we was going through the school itself was going through so much sanctions, bro, with the Never Superior situation. So it was like. Anything that was done. You think you escaped Golden? Anybody was involved. Of course. Involved. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. Of course, bro. Absolutely. That was Golden. From what I did, it wasn't not, It wasn't was serious golden, enough man. for you to literally kick me out of school, bro. And like I'm talking about, and then they made it to the they made it to the like point like I couldn't go to like a D two, I couldn't go to D three, like I couldn't even go to a level down. You feel me? Like I couldn't yeah. go no other school. First of all, I couldn't go D one no other school. Then it was like, okay, bet if you can't go D1, let them go D2 or D3 or something like that. Bro, they tried to make me go to NAIA. NAIA. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like another level of high school, right, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, imagine that. Like, come on, yo, I went from high school, then I went to the U, bro, one of the biggest D1 schools. Then imagine going from there, trying to go to an NAIA school where at the U, you getting everything for free. You like, you want a new pair of cleats to go holler at the people in the locker room. Hey, man, let me get a new pair of cleats real quick. The other school, oh, boy, nah, you I damn near got to go to buy your own sports shit. Go to sports sports store and go buy your own <laughs> shit, boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you have that's how it was, was bro. Golden, I'm like, man, man ain't no that way shit hell, was different, bro. Do you have any uh, resentment with, 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 with how everything ended over with Miami? I mean, of course I did, bro, because at the end of the day, they stole millions from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went from being one of the top in the, in the country to going undrafted. You feel me? Like, I ain't even get drafted. You feel me? And it's like, that shit was, they scarred me for that. You feel me? Like, every, then it's like, and after anything I had to do after that in the league, it's like I had to re really work from the bottom. You feel me? Like, everything I got, I had to get it from the, get it out the mud. You feel me? Cause you know, at, in the league, that shit a real business for real. That's when, that's when it really get to a business. You feel me? Like, it don't matter if this guy better than that guy, if he getting paid more, we got to play him first. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't matter what he got, if he's stinking up the field or not. It don't right. even matter almost. You know what I'm saying? Trust for the money. Draft process, all of you guys, <laughs> what was it like? You said you went undrafted. Yeah, I went undrafted. Um, Man, the draft process for me, I really didn't take it serious, like I said. My C, <laughs> I'm I can't I can't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I didn't play, I didn't play, I, I had this, I, I was, I was kind of done with football, like, you know what I mean? Because yeah, I went through a lot of injuries. I got that, as a fan, I got that vibe, though. Yeah, like, I was, I'm, shit, I'm I like, mentally, vibe, like, cause my parents, that, like, my, after my uh, ACL, my parents just tell me all the time, like, son, you don't have to play, like, you, if you done, you ain't got to play for us, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, we proud of you, you know what I mean? They used to always tell me that, and I would always play, but my senior year, I was, I was a six-year senior. You know what I mean? So just think, just think about how mentally out of it I'm out of it. So going through the uh, recruiting yeah, process. I feel you on that. <laughs> like, nah, pick that picture on that So, so yeah, I was like, what, 23? Bills. Yeah, I'm 23, 24 years old. But my uh, my roommate when at the time. Beer pong days was over, huh? Yeah, my roommate. <laughs> so this this is what made my recruiting process kind of crazy because my roommate was DJ uh, DJ Humphreys. Mm. He's a he's projected first round pick. He's my roommate. You know what right. I mean? So like he's getting flown out to different teams. And then, like, all of a sudden, man, I kid you, I wasn't working out or nothing, dog. Nah. And, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm telling you, man, I, I, I was going crazy. Nigga, natural. And, um, <laughs> uh, like, the Raiders, uh, they flew me out. You know, the teams at Florida, you're going to get your opportunities. You so, you didn't get no like, trainer or nothing in the draft process? Oh, man, I was, I, I was, man, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you know that right now. You know what I mean? 
You ran a four three eight, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, he had that. Like, I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew that all I. At the end of the day, like, you know what I mean. You can't. You can't teach speed. You know what I mean. I knew that I was gonna run fast, and I had enough film to to get a look. And but for me to get drafted, I was I was so shook because I knew I was like, oh shit, I wouldn't I wouldn't put in that work like that. You know what I mean? Because. It, it it all happened so fast. You know right. what I mean? Like I definitely didn't think I was gonna get drafted. Like I was on the phone hmm. negotiating a deal with the Dolphins, uh GM. Like we was negotiating the uh like the signing free bonus deal, for yeah. my free agent deal. And then I saw the uh what a five six two number uh calling on my I was on my agent's phone and then my phone started ringing. And it was five one zero actually. And it was it was the Raiders. And they were like, I was we in Oakland the, at the time, we too. Finna, yeah, he was, oh, man, we got stories like that. But, oh, like, let's talk about it. Yeah. We actually, yeah, he met up. We yeah, met up so I got drafted to the, uh, to the, he was in the league already at the time. And then I ended up getting drafted to the same, uh, to the same NFL right. team. And then, like, oh, I just, wow. it was just, man, it was just like I a movie. You know what I mean? Like, that, you know, it was like a year. Man, he, we, we, we was even, he was even on the 49ers and I was on the Raiders. Like, we was yeah, the street. Like. It yeah. was it was it was pretty dope. That was dope. Yeah, we was, that shit was crazy. We was in the same crib. Same crib, different playing for two teams. different teams. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. My hot in the morning. Bro. He, got to, he got to get my hot later on. He got to, he going left to the Oakland. I'm going right to the same city. Like corporate jobs and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah shit it was crazy. pretty. It was pretty dope. We was roommates for that year. Nah, that yeah. shit was lit though. So that's what's up. Now, Ryan, after you after you was dismissed from you, um, like I said, you got that call from Coach DJ. And you you end up going to Cookman. How was that transition like going from uh, going from uh, Miami to going to Cookman? A culture shop. That shit was different, boy. It was. Yeah. You just see how like how Get people got co- how people got mm-hmm. control and say so over your 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 life for real at that point in time though. Like I don't know, it make you fall out of love with it though for real, bro. Because it went up to me. It was just whatever they say that what it is. At the end of the day, mm-hmm. you don't even know why. It just be like. So when I got there, I was like, man, this shit, like high school, it was a bunch of black people though. I was like, damn, like for like two months, I was like, boy, I ain't even really just practice. Work out to the highs, but I was like, man, they ain't going on campus. But then after a while, I started coming out of the shell though. It, w- it was different though, cause it felt more at home. I ain't mm-hmm. gonna lie. Cause it was just like, it was like more so like a, a bigger version of high school, but you just getting your culture. You just around your people all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? So the whole vibe all day, every day is just, Black, you feel right, right, right. The, all day, Felt like day. yeah, that's all it was. So it was just different. Then you just learn about more history and shit like that. So it was different though. It was an experience though. I wouldn't, I don't regret it at all. Yeah, I heard, uh, I heard you, I heard you pull out the name Golden a couple of times, man. Yeah, you feel like, um, <laughs> you feel like yeah. boy slid you, man. Like, you, you feel yeah, like he yeah. kind of scapegoated he sl- y'all, he slid everybody, boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It was, he, he, anybody in Shannon class, he wasn't fucking with, boy. Mm. Yeah. Bro, it was crazy. He, he was dropping you know, everything. He, he, I, he know, he know, he did some some green stuff, some messed up. He stuff, used right? you until he finds somebody listen, to replace you. Jack, at type at, shit, at his time, he after his he time at you, he ended up getting jobs in the NFL. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he was coaching in the NFL, and I had him. So I, I bumped into him a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Like, just imagine, like, I'm trying to tell you this how this how. Oh, he man. knew he he fucked up. You feel me? Cause like, anytime he came around me, bro, he, it's like he barely he didn't even want to speak. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. didn't want to speak. Low key, he didn't want to look at me. Type shit like that. Like, bro, cause you the way you scarred me, bro. But it's like I'm still here. You feel yeah, me? At the end of the day, but it's like, bro, you scarred me for real, bro. But I'm still here. And you got to got to play against your team. And we yeah. we meeting up in practice a couple of times. Then we playing games, something like that. So like, but but he would never, he won't even speak to me for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he'll, I, he'll hold his tongue or just go the other way. I could get that. I mean, if anybody, I try to cripple in anyway. And I yeah, see him man. triumphing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's gotta be a humbling experience. He ain't know our culture, bro. Right. And he, he thought it was just like, he ain't know what it is. Like he ain't know the culture and nothing man, that we have. Man, man, now, or, you coming uh, from a white Pennsylvania. shirt and a tie. Right. Yeah, you coming from line. Pennsylvania, bro. You coming to game. Florida. It was different. You come in with a bunch five. of black people. Ninety five percent of the team was black. They changed yeah, the whole culture of the team. Sweating them shirts out of every game too. Yeah, there with a student shirt and tie on. Yeah. 
Nah, that's 90 degrees. Yeah, that's what just bro. made me realize who y'all were talking about. I ain't People maybe turn that shit to Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was low key nah, turning. Yeah, it shit sound like a politician name. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I knew who y'all were talking and about. And he was a bro. psychologist too, so he was like mind games too, though. He was, yeah. Man, that man bro, came from Temple, bro, head, bro, to the U. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. You ain't that. That don't even mix. Right, big shit. Yeah. Big shit. That shit went from like work the second time either. Like ninety percent black to like sixty percent white, forty percent black on the team. That boy getting rid of everything. Mm. But what was it like, uh, both of y'all boys been in the Bay? Y'all got some money in y'all pocket. Y'all hanging out a little bit. What was it like? Good vibes out there, bro. Nah, the Bay was love. I Man. love the Bay. Oakland's dope. Nah, we back. I don't shit coming from the look. We were literally from, from, from Florida way across town. You know what I'm saying? Across, see, across, across the country. Yeah, this, the other side. This, this, this what I'm gonna chime in to the, uh, the back to the, the college thing. That was see, different coaches for real. I was playing beer pong in college. So when I went to Oakland, it was like, oh shit, <laughs> you feel me? Like, cause I'm in the league, I got money now, I'm in the, you know what I'm saying? So like, it was a big shot for me again, you know, the Viego Florida. Uh, you know, you cause like- about that story when you-, you Oh uh, man, let me tell you about you this story. Listen, like, we in Oakland, so, y'all know, I know y'all know y'all, y'all, know, y'all know, you, know about Cali. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You first get there, they tell you, all right, listen y'all, boy. They, they literally you know have a class. We from Florida. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they telling everybody that what, they ain't from around here, listen what, y'all. Dude, what they, not to do like, certain areas, you yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't go over here, don't go over there, cause they real, they for real about that. So let me tell you why I went over there. He happy go lucky. So it was a, it was a, it was a food catering place. It was a soul food place. And they they catered to us one time, and I was like, man, fuck it, like I, it was my place, and I, I I had I was on a first name basis with them, you know. I call ahead, swoop in real quick, get my food. So I got accustomed to it, but it was in the hood of Oakland. So long story short, these dudes followed me. Like we lived in Hayward, California. This was in Oakland, so that's like twenty minute drive. You know what I mean? Traffic and all. They followed me twenty minutes to our crib. You know what I mean? Man. I pull into the driveway. <laughs> It's funny now, nah, but shit wasn't funny then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shit was not funny then, boy. I pull into the driveway and you know, like, you, you can feel somebody in your Bruh, presence. You feel right, me? Right, right. And I kid you not, like, these two dudes come running up to me with um with their shirts over their heads. And like, I'm thinking, you know what I mean? I, I just came from Gainesville, you know, I'm kind of naive. You know, I'm, I'm thinking that these niggas like, man, this is a joke. Like, who, who, who y'all, who, who y'all is? <laughs> And I kid you not, what? that motherfucker, he pulled out a gun and like all that, like all you can see in that moment is you can, you can, that you barrel, can see, you, that barrel, no, you that can see the fat. lead in that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. And nah, I remember, I remember just backing up, backing up into the garage. It's and, all, it's and, all playing. And I, was, I thought, that, I thought it was a joke, but when he pulled a gun out, it wasn't a joke. And I, I had my, uh, I had a laptop and some food. I just dropped it. I was like, man, you can have all this shit. And then. I ran into the house. Them niggas thinking I was finna run in the house and stay. No, nigga, I ran through the house. I had some, I had some, uh, hey. I had some Uggs on, some, some fur Uggs on. Real comfy, real comfy. Yo, them bitches yo, stayed yo. on the whole, I, so I, I was running, yo. I ran out, I ran to the front of the neighborhood and then there was this white lady uh, walking her dog. I kid you not, she was already calling 911 before I got to her. That's how fast I was running to it. I got up to her, I was like, ma'am, I just got robbed. Please call 911. She was already like, I, I, don't worry, I, already, I was already, you know what I'm saying? And I had never, I had never, I had never ran. It ain't too many black people in our neighborhood. Right, right, right. You live in an all white neighborhood. That's why I thought of you. You just see a nigga running. Yes. Yeah, right, right, right. You know what I mean? She called for you. She called for you. That's why I thought that she was calling for me, but I had never ran to the front of the neighborhood. I ran so far, I saw the dudes leaving out of the, it was a black altar. And I was, I was about to start running again, but I don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about, but when that shit, listen, but coming from Florida and that shit happened all the way over there, you ain't got no family over there. It's only you. You right, feel me? He, right. he, he, he was at work. You Bro, feel I me? I pulled up to the house. It's a hundred police everywhere. over there. Yeah. Like, man, what the hell this man undid? That's the first hey, thing in my head. But what the hell you undid? And this is before all the weed and we got bongs. We got all the weed. <laughs> Police just walking all the way through. I'm, I'm, I'm putting stuff down. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But they tell me like, bro, he just like, carry his legal anyway. But he ain't, he ain't thinking man. about none of that. Those people like, man, we ain't worried about that. Nah, nah, like, uh, yeah, but it was, but, but, but that, that's, that showed me, man. Cali is the real deal. Like y'all, you think you think it's some gangsters around here, but Cali out there really doing it. 
feel me? Like, that, that's, that's true. Brand. We had another. We oh, had yeah, them boys had a what, story. The Bay was love, though, besides that story yeah. right there. Yeah, the Bay is real. Lit. Overall, <laughs> I like it. You know what I'm saying? But just don't go where you're supposed to go. You that's feel it. Me? You feel nah, me? He, he, he was he was. He I'll was be hard headed, though. Was I, I had a, my truck had sixes on yeah, it. I had a Florida tag. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, the chains it, on. Yeah, I had a chain on. He, just, like, he by yeah. himself, too. And I'll buy myself. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Sweet, I ain't no yeah, big yeah, guy. Yeah, easy money. So, like, it was it was a learning experience. I ain't take my ass over there no more. You ain't get no more that soul food, huh? No, I ain't get no more that soul food. Man, listen, you don't know what you got till it's gone, bro. I was taking that risk for that food. <laughs> swear to G, hey, that boy was chilling. Bro. You say swear to G? Yeah, sir. <laughs> nah, we had some times out there though. Yeah, Definitely in the bay. Crazy. I love the bay, bro. Yeah. I saw, you was out there too? Yeah, I was out there with a the boy. Just kicking it? Yeah. Good vibe. <laughs> and looking back on you guys, Chris, man, you guys, anything you guys would do differently? I would have transferred from Florida when uh, Urban left immediately and went to UCF and just uh, dominated that league and went first round. <laughs> Because the difference that's the only, thing yeah, too, that's the restrictions and shit. Yeah, that's the reason I had to go through all the bullshit. Yeah, like it was so different. Like if it was how it was, not to just transfer. Shit was really like slaves and shit back then. It's different now. Now they got control though. Like they really got control. We ain't got control of our fate. Now they got control. Hey Dre, what was what was Charlie Weiss like? Oh, Charlie Weiss was, I, I hated it. Well, you know, I had five off his corner. I hated him. Like, this dude was so fat and, <laughs> my bad, bro, you ain't fat. But I'm, just, I'm fat. You know what I'm going to do, bro. I looked at, you know what I said? I looked at Charlie like, nah, but, but this no, dude, I'm fat, bro, I say like, that, I say that, I say that. I like I say how you want to fit me, though. <laughs> I'm real polite, man. You know what I'm saying? But listen, this dude, this dude was so out of shape. He couldn't even drive his, uh, he couldn't even walk around practice. He's the, Imagine getting yelled at by a dude sitting in the cart, bro. He ride up on you. Motherfucker, I got that, man. Like, and he can't even sit up and talk. I'm, he, used to, and, and he just got to sit there and just. Yo. Like, real deal, man. I, Charlie Weiss, because, you know, he was on the Patriots, oh, man. And, and it's just so hard to just listen to a bro. dude tell you to play football, and you know you ain't never played no football. Like, bitch, I know right. you ain't never did none of this shit. Like, it was so hard to listen to him. Say I'm good, right? Like, no. it, like it, go bro, I'm dead serious, man. Like, that, Les Miles, I mean, or I Charlie Weiss. You, mm -mm. I didn't, I ain't enjoy that at all. I can tell you that sign up, no. It's mm -mm. Although I had my best receiving year with him, though. <laughs> he knew something then, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just can't get he out had the a car. he had a philosophy of just stacking the box, put a receiver out there. And go. They just let it launch. You know what I'm saying? Like my that that That's year. Do with my past. Yeah, like that year that you know the SEC football. You know back in 08, them boys were just smash mouth. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So like that's that's what the game plan was. You know you stack the box. You know, put the odds in your favor, and, my dog and got then an just put somebody on the. Uh, oh yeah, the yeah, SB. Yeah, oh yeah, I got a SB high school. Yeah. Oh. Niggas came, in, ain't came. Many people can say that. Yeah, that's a fact. Uh, yeah. That's some real high school. High school, you know. Yeah, y'all boys legends, man. Like the shit y'all accomplished, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all names, dog. That shit never gonna die, bro. So I, like, I remember. Nah, it's, um, it's crazy to me to even still y'all like. How many years ago was that? It was like 08. 12, 13. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that like, shit fly by, bro. 14 years this fall. It's people that still, it's people by, still come up to you talking about it. I'm like, man, right. y'all still mad now. You know, I'm, I stay in South Florida. Bro, how right. So mean, like, bro, it's people still home, mad really. at me. Bro, I just literally, like, probably a couple weeks ago, I'm in Publix, bro. <laughs> Buddy pulled up to me like, such and say you such and such and such. Like, damn, man, he's still mad about that game, bro. I'm talking about, damn, boy, you don't know how many people y'all had pissed off out here, boy. <laughs> y'all came out here, man. So many people yeah, lost so much money, time. man. Boy, the big money on that game. Still talking about still that. Still to this like, day, bro, y'all still on that, bro. But they show love, though, but they and still oh, talk about that shit. So what's it like to be like legends of the city? Man. You know, going I home or being, you know, y'all y'all pretty close to home right now, like, how does that, you know, how do, how do you walk around in the regular day and then like you recognize, all right, aren't you? Ain't nothing changed. It's it's pretty, I mean, it was, it was basically the same. Sanford is so, so big, you know what I right. mean? So everybody basically know everybody, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, I mean, you just get used to people knowing who you are, you know what I mean? In, in different places, like when you go, what was odd to me is going to somewhere else and people knowing yeah. who you are. I you know what I'm saying? Like area. I was used to that in Sanford because everybody know you in Sanford, but when you would go, you know what I'm saying? Like in Miami or you in Gainesville somewhere, not your city, 
Right. That's when right. it was pretty dope when somebody would recognize you. That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what I thought it was right, real. Right, right. That's for real. Mm-hmm. So what it is now, man, what y'all boys got going, man? Professionally, family-wise, you know? Man. What's I mean, right like? now, I got a, I got a, we got a, me and Dow, we doing a, we got a clothing store we doing together. It's yeah. called Kit. Okay. Keep it tight. So, yeah. Nice. We wearing this our merch right well, here. Well, the people can grab it at. Uh, and Sanford, man. We got BrickandMortarFL.com. Huh? Brick and Mortar store. Yeah, we got a, we got a store. We got a store in Sanford, uh, 4046 South Orlando Drive. That's in Sanford. We got a website, uh, what is it, keepittightfl.com yeah. as well. Right now we're looking for a new location, though. We're trying to get more in Orlando right, right now. So we're trying to get a new location going right now. That's what we're trying to do. So we've been is. in business two years now. You know what I'm saying? Black-owned business. Congratulations, man. Yeah, man. Absolutely, man. For sure. Yeah, man. We got kids out here. Yeah, I'm <laughs> young. Nah, I got one though. You got one. That's what's yeah, one. Feel like we got more than that. Everybody else got more. I got a two piece. Yeah, two piece. Yeah. No biscuits. Why you quiet in the middle of the boat? Oh, I got two one, man. Oh, okay. I got yeah, one. I got right. one. I thought the one. I thought you had about six the way you were sitting there in the middle. Oh Lord, short. no sir. Not yeah. that I know of. Anyways. Been a great conversation, man. I appreciate y'all boys pulling up, man. This is one of the good ones, dog. Dre, you hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah. Anybody tell you little, ever tell you like Chris Tucker? Oh, hey. I wish I heard that one before. Boy, boy, wait. <laughs> Getting that shit, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Back your ass up over there, boy. Wish I, 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 I wish I got that one for now. Nah, people tell me that all the time, actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, definitely. Man. Yeah, it was it was a classic interview, man. Appreciate y'all, boys. Yeah. No, I appreciate y'all too, man. Absolutely, it's the roll yeah, up, man. man. The roll ups. <laughs>